I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person that you're currently dealing with. Then we'll see what's coming up for the two of you. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So Aries, the recent past energy between you and your person, well, we've got the tower and it's with the Knight of Pentacles. Now, the tower can actually be about trying to hold too tightly to the status quo and that can be a disaster because you have to roll with the changes. It could be that some people or situations that you've counted on as being there for you may no longer be there in quite the same way as they once were. Yeah, so tower can be about being shocked. But the thing about this tower that comes crashing down is um, on the flip side of the tower, you're enlightened by this disaster. So something falls apart. And the tower is with the Knight of Pentacles. Now the Knight of Pentacles is a very stable type of energy. Um, it's solid. It's committed. It's loyal. It's a very loyal type of energy. So what this is telling me, uh, Aries, is that Yeah, for some of you, yeah, some of you, you were with someone and it fell apart. And you could have been shocked that the connection just came crashing down because um, you, you felt like with the Knight of Pentacles here, that it was solid as a rock. Yeah, it felt like it was stable. It felt like it was standing strong like the Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles is a very good energy. Um, it can also, the Knight of Pentacles can also be about a comfortable lifestyle. Yeah. So things were good or at least you thought they were good and then things just came crashing down out of nowhere and you were shocked by this and you were also enlightened by this disaster yeah you were no longer seeing this connection through rose tinted glasses you saw you just you finally start to see it for what it is or maybe you found out some things but anyways, let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. Okay, so we got the Ace of Pentacles, and it's with the Eight of Swords. Now, the Ace of Pentacles, you could find yourself enjoying new beginnings on several levels, and they're, they're all positive with the Ace of Pentacles, very positive. And with the Eight of Swords, it can be about holding back. Maybe you're afraid to move into the future. Or maybe you're wary of getting hurt by a new situation. Yeah, so coming up, Aries, like I said, the things fell apart with you and your person. Where, whereas you thought it was stable and you thought it was a, a healthy relationship. Because the Knight of Pentacles is good. Yeah. So coming up, there's a new beginning here with the Ace of Pentacles. So your person could be wanting to get this started again with you. Yeah, and it's indicating things are going to get started with the Ace of Pentacles. But it's with the Eight of Swords. So this is telling me that you're in your head about getting this started. Or, or just trying to make it... Um, a fresh new start because the Ace of Pentacles can be about reconnecting. Yeah, or the relationship rising to new and better heights. 
but you're 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 just standing there. Yeah, the eight of swords is can be about overthinking. You're stuck in your head, and you're afraid to move forward. But I'm getting for a lot of you, your person will be reaching out to you, wanting to get this started again. They could be wanting a fresh new start with you, Aries. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see. Let's see what the challenge. Let's see what the challenge is going to bring. So we got the Three of Wands and it's with the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, so the Three of Wands and the Six of Pentacles. Well, your person, like I said, they want to get this going again. Yeah, they want a new fresh start. It fell apart and they're ready to rebuild with you. And they could start giving more because the Six of Pentacles can be about generosity. Generosity, it can be about a healthy dose of give and take. So this person could start doing a lot of nice things for you. Maybe just start giving more. Or maybe you're starting to feel like it's, it's, a, it's a healthy dose of give and take coming from both ends. And it's starting to feel good. Yeah. You were holding yourself back, but it looks like because the Three of Wands is here, the card above the word challenge. Three of Wands is you make a decision to go forward. So you've made a decision, you're going forward, and you. it looks like for some of you, you could be looking ahead with expansion and growth with this person. Yeah. So, like I said, they, they could be reaching out to you for some of you. Wanting a fresh new start. It did fall apart. It was stable for probably a good while. And then you really got shocked by this connection falling apart. Or it just collapsing all of a sudden. So your person is reaching out. Wanting a new beginning. And they're starting to be more giving. Maybe doing nice things for you with the Six of Pentacles here. And you're going forward. Yes, yes, you feel like your ship has finally arrived. It looks like you got emotions for this person. Aries, you're ready to get back on board. So, let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the outcome is. We've got the Page of Swords, and it's with the Seven of Pentacles. Page of Swords can be about mild conflict. It can be about... An immature type of energy. Whenever you hear the word page in a tarot, that can indicate a, stu a student. It could indicate youth. It could indicate immaturity. Or maybe it's just someone that's younger than you. Um, this page of swords. The card above the word outcome. Yeah, the page of swords, like I said, can bring some mild conflict. It could feel like um, they're trying too hard or pushing too fast. Or you could feel like this person is stepping on your toes. Um, yeah, so it's with the Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles is about really, really wanting things to work. It's about reaping what you've sown. It's about maybe a bank account returning money to you figuratively. Or maybe investments of time, effort, and energy that you put into a relationship. It's about reaping what you have sown. So, yeah. It's about putting effort and energy into things. So, this is what I'm getting, Aries. Is that your person, they'll... Like I said, they... They, they want this new fresh start with you. It looks like you're getting on board. You're up there smiling, the Three of Wands. And they're being more generous, more giving. Showing you that they they care. The Page of Swords, is it's, it does indicate... If it's not conflict, you could, you could find that your person is maybe um, keeping tabs on you. Because the Page of Swords can be someone who watches you, or they can be a stalker. 
they, or they can keep tabs on you. And I'm getting that this is your person. Page of Swords, the card above the word outcome. They're watching you a whole lot more. Or maybe you're watching them a whole lot more. Um, because it seems like they're doing a lot more. And it's because they, they really want this to work. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles. That means you really want it to work. You see, all the Seven of Pentacles is the card below the word outcome. She's got all that stuff in her shopping bags. They're realizing they need to put more effort and energy into the connection. And that's what they're doing. They're dropping a lot in those shopping bags she's carrying. A whole lot. So, you could be just watching your person, keeping tabs on them, or maybe they're watching you and keeping tabs on you. Because they want things to go right this time. And so do you. Like I said, that Three of Wands, that's you up there smiling. Feeling like, yay, my person is back. My ship has finally come in. I'm going forward. I made a decision. And they're starting to be really good to you with the Six of Pentacles here. Yeah, maybe doing a lot of nice things for you. And it feels good. So, that is your reading, Aries. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below on the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself? Best case scenario and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Aries, thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass. We'll all get through this. So stay strong. Take good care. Please come back and join me for the next Aries reading, just in case this did not resonate. Maybe the next reading will. Also keep in mind the roles of the people can be switched. Yes, meaning you could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend, maybe a family member, or a co-worker, or a situation. So just take the readings for however it resonates, because once again, these are general readings, they're not personal readings. So Aries, I ain't never said enough. I thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading, and take care.